Hey there viewers, Eric O here. Well, it's a new day at South Main Auto. Got a 2002 Dodge Stratus here. Come in with the check engine light on. I've pulled the codes out of it. It's got two codes, one for a small EVAP leak and one for a large EVAP leak. So I'm gonna show you how to hook up your smoke machine and find that leak. So there's the two codes we have, a 442 and a 455. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is hook up your smoke machine. Now come under the hood on the driver's side on the strut tower and look all the way down towards the bottom there. You'll see what they call the EVAT purge solenoid. It's that thing there with the two nipples sticking off of it and the electrical connector kind of has a round top. It's pretty difficult to video, but you're going to have to unhook the hoses from that. Once the hoses are unhooked, hook up the hose to your smoke machine. You can see the double female half of the uh, hose there. You're going to want to find the hose which runs towards the rear of the vehicle and put your smoke machine into that. That's going to be your EVAP line. The next thing you got to do is come underneath your vehicle. We've got to seal the system off. So come back here by the gas tank. This is the rear subframe that runs back here. You're going to look up here between the gas tank and the subframe and you're going to see a, a canister vent uh, or a canister vent filter rather. And this is part of the leak detection pump. So what you're going to want to do, just use a pair of pinch pliers or a pair of vice grips. You're going to want to pinch that hose off. Now this one's been broke off and somebody's kind of stuffed it up in here, but you'll still see the big hose hanging down there going to a uh, filter. So go ahead and pinch that off and let's turn on the smoke machine and see where this leak is. Well, I've got the smoke machine on. Sure didn't take long to find this one. Look at all the smoke up and by this filler neck. You can actually hear this one hissing. So, this vehicle is pretty easy. I tried putting a little soapy water on it for you so you could see it bubbling, but <laughs> the leak's too big. And here's a better look at that leak detection pump. So that's what it looks like. Use the hose coming off the bottom of it to install your hose pinch pliers, just in case you couldn't see that before. But we're done here, so we're going to unhook them. Unhook your smoke machine. Reattach the vacuum hoses to your purge solenoid. Well, there you have it, viewers. Smoke machine made some pretty short work out of this thing. Do some poking on YouTube. You'll find a lot of videos on how to make your own homemade smoke machine. We use one here. It's commercially available in the shop, but uh, a lot of great information out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it shows you how to test the EVAP system on your Chrysler. Of course, this is not a full, complete system explaining the inner workings of a leak detection pump and purge solenoid, but uh, just a real short one, show you where to hook it up, show you how to pinch off the vent, find the leak, and uh, then it's up to you to repair it. So I'm going to get this lady an estimate on a fuel filler neck, and until uh, next time, hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if you didn't, leave any questions or comments you have in the comment box below, and we'll see you in the next video.